Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And for anyone new here, welcome, I'm Jenna. And for today's video, I'm super excited because it is market day. I'm actually kind of nervous because this is my first market and it originally was supposed to be outdoors, but it's been storming all day. So luckily they have an indoor venue for us. So it's getting moved indoors. And I feel like that won't really help turnout, you know, like if it's storming, people definitely won't want to go out, but it's fine, whatever. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. So I'm going to walk through me getting ready for the market, setting up, and then maybe some footage of the actual market happening, depending on how busy I am. And then afterwards, I'll go into the results of the market. So what sold, what didn't sell, how much I made, my prices, all of that good stuff. So definitely stick around and let's get into this video. Today is also my husband's birthday, so shout out to Jonas. It is a super special day, market day and Jonas's birthday. It's gonna be a good day. I just got done putting all the plushies in this giant plastic bin. Look at Shay trying to mess with the top of it. But yeah, officially ready. I'm gonna close this bad boy up and go get ready. All right, I got everything else packed up. We got my disco ball, my cards, my cute little crates and some other goodies. And then of course my plushies. And then lastly, we have my two tables that I got from Lowe's. It is a six foot table and a four foot table. So I think that's everything. So let's start packing the car and go to this market. The car is loaded, lol. The plushies look like they're being held hostage, but we actually have two serving boards that my husband made that I'm also hoping to sell at this market. Got our tables and all of our decor. Let's go. All right, it is the next day. The market is officially over. And all I can say is that it was a huge success. For my first ever market, I think it went really well. So I'm gonna dive into all of the results, but I first wanted to preface and say how, if you guys didn't know, I am actually based out of Mississippi. And the market last night was a night market that happens three times a year. And it's from five to 8 p.m. And originally it was supposed to be outdoors. And I think I mentioned it in the beginning of this video, but due to the weather yesterday, they moved it indoors. So I was really scared about turnout. I was like, there's no way people are gonna come out if it's like storming. But to my surprise, a lot of people did come out. I think maybe there was like 200, 300 people there, which is a lot for a small town in Mississippi. So just wanted to put that in perspective because I watch a lot of other crochet YouTubers and they talk about their markets and how they make like $1,500, $2,000 and I'm like, I'm not gonna achieve that, but it's fine. You can't compare yourself to others. You can't compare your market results to others. Like every single market is different. I just wanted to give you guys that background as we go into the results. So in terms of setup, I showed you guys in my market prep vlog that I had two tables, a six foot and a four foot, and that I was gonna make an L shape. Well, that didn't happen. When we got to the market, they actually already had tables for us. And like, no one knew that they wanted us to use their tables and that they were gonna provide tables. So I guess it was a little messy in that aspect. So we got there and they're like, oh, use our tables. So the tables they gave us were actually, I think it was like an eight foot table. So it was actually a pretty big table. So I was like, okay, let's roll with it. So I laid out all my plushies. I used my two stands. It was great. All in all, using the eight foot table versus the two other tables was fine. Like, I don't think it hurt my performance. I actually think it looked maybe better. You know, because it was just one cohesive long table. That is what happened with the setup, and that's why you saw in the previous clip that my setup did not look like my mock setup. But all right, let's get into what didn't sell. So I went into this market preparing a lot of mini stuff just because I knew that people probably wouldn't want to drop like $45 on a turtle. So I made a lot of minis, and those were my best sellers. I'd say my leggy froggies, my octopi, my triceratops, those were all my top sellers. And believe it or not, my turtles did sell too. My jumbo turtle that I had for $45, that was my most expensive item. That did sell and I was really happy about that. So across all the different prices, things did sell. So I was really happy about that. Let's get into the specifics. I'm gonna go show you guys all the plushies I have left over and what I sold them for. And then we can get into what sold, the prices, and then my total profit. All right, so here's everything that we have left over. Let's start to the left. 
So I'm really shocked that my two strawberry turtles didn't sell considering they are my most popular item on my online shop. So I listed the strawberry turtles for $35. I undercut a lot of my prices. So I usually sell my turtles online for $42. I never have a problem with that price point. People buy them. I think it's worth that because of all the time, effort, and materials that goes into making them. But for some reason, when I was pricing my items for this market, I just like undercut a lot of them. So yeah, $35 for my two strawberry turtles they did not sell i have this cupcake turtle that i listed for 20. i also think 20 is a little underpriced for a turtle because a lot of time and effort and materials did go into this little guy but it's okay and then we have these four octopi left over i'm honestly surprised the two pink ones didn't sell but yeah, out of the rainbow colors, these are what's left and I sold them for $8. I did make a lot of the octopi, so I wasn't expecting to sell out of them, but they did really well. Next we have one of the jumbo turtles. I made two jumbo turtles total. One of them sold, this one did not, my cotton candy one. And this one I listed for $45, which again is totally underpriced because Sweet Snuggles yarn it in itself is like $10 and I had to use two skeins of that. Oh my gosh. Shay, like, are you okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shay, like, just jumped into that bin and completely scared herself. Oh my gosh. But as I was saying, Sweet Stungle's yarn is like $10, and I had to use two skeins, so that's $20 right there, plus the stuffing and effort, so like $45 for this turtle that size. I know, probably a little underpriced, but oh well. And it didn't sell. Next, we have my two mini Triceratops. These Triceratops did so well. I made a whole rainbow array of them, and these are the only two that are left. So I'd say they're a top seller, and they were pretty popular. I sold them for $7 the camera's not focusing next we have these two mini bees i'm honestly shocked that these little guys didn't sell because bees are pretty popular and i listed these for seven dollars so they are definitely on the lower end of my prices and i was really shocked they didn't sell next we have these little egg penguins i did sell one of the hot pink ones but these little guys didn't sell a lot of people were interested in them but ultimately they went with something else so maybe i will have to improve that design going forward Maybe I'll add flippers and feet. I listed them for $8. Next, we have my chubby dinos. So we only have three left. I made, I think, six in total. Um, I'm really, really surprised that the pink and the blue did not sell. Like, those are my favorite color combinations. So really shocked about that. But I listed these dinos for 20 And yeah, I'd still say they're pretty popular despite having three left over. Next, we have my pink penguin. I am also equally shocked that this pink penguin didn't sell because the pink penguin is like a bestseller on my online shop. So it was surprising to not see it get bought in person. I listed the penguin for 20. And again, that's like pretty undercut because on my online shop, I think my penguins are $35 and a lot of time and effort goes into it, so I don't know why I did that. Next, we have this large jumbo chicken nugget. I had two mini chicken nuggets that sold, but this little guy didn't. I listed him for $15, and a lot of people actually didn't know what this was. I had to tell them like, oh, it's a chicken nugget. And once I told them, they were like, oh my gosh, they like really liked it. But I think when they first entered the table, they were kind of just like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Next, I have two bees. Again, I'm shocked that I didn't sell out of my bees. I made four total bees of this size and I listed them for $15. And yeah, I'm just surprised that people didn't buy those two. I would say bees overall are a pretty popular item. Next, we have these two large octopi that I made. I listed them, I think, let me see, how much did I list these for? Oh, I listed them for 20, which that's actually kind of high now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should have done like 15 or something, but people weren't really interested in these. I think they like the miniature version of the octopi better. So that's interesting going forward. I rarely sell octopi on my online shop too though. So that's really interesting. Like it's so interesting to see how sales on your online shop vary from in-person sales because it's so different and it's so shocking that it's different. I would think it'd be pretty similar. Next, we have leggy froggies. I only have these three froggies left over, so I'd say the froggies were super, super popular. I think I made 10 of the frogs. So the fact that only three are left over shows how popular they were, and I listed them for $10. And I'm surprised the green color didn't sell. I'm kind of glad though, because I want to keep those two green ones for myself. <laughs> 
And then lastly, we have my flower coasters. I think I had like 15 of these coasters or something. So I did sell a good amount of them. I listed them for $3.50 and people did seem to like them. They were a little confused and I had to also explain to them that it is a coaster. But yeah, that is what we have left. Okay, and now for the juicy details, because I know this is what a lot of people wanna know, and this is what I always wanna know when I watch market videos. So let's get into what sold, what I sold it for, and my total profits. My husband came to the market with me and he kept track of everything that sold, which was so nice because it was so hectic and I like could not have kept track myself. So shout out to Jonas once again. Okay, so I sold one mini egg penguin. Oh, and maybe I'll put a picture of them here if I have it. So I sold one hot pink mini penguin for $8. I sold one mini octo for $8. Two mini octos for $16 two triceratops for $14, one red mushroom for $12, one mini octopus for $12. Oh, oh, that's not right, because the mini octo is eight. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they had something else with that order. So one mini octo plus a mystery item for $12, one mini turtle for $12, one mini pickle for $12, one green and pink turtle that is a regular size for $30, two leggy froggies for $20, one chubby dino for $20, one mini triceratops for $7, one possum for $18. I'm so happy the possum sold. I will add that multiple people wanted the possum and when I sold out of it, people were like, do you have any more possums? Do you have any in back stock? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. So I think possums are a pretty popular item. And I heard other people in other market videos saying how popular their possums are. So something to think about when prepping for the next market. Okay, one beige mushroom for $12. I'm surprised the mushroom sold because in my other market prep video, I was like, I don't know how I feel about these mushrooms. I'm gonna stop making them. I'm only gonna make two. So they actually did really well. And I think people would have bought more if I had it. So another note to sell for my future market is to make more mushrooms. Okay, I sold one leggy froggy for $10, one chubby dino for $20, two flower coasters for seven, I sold the big emotional support pickle for 25. Another note, people really love the emotional support pickles. So I only brought two mini ones with me and one big one. I think I definitely should make more in the future. Um, I sold one regular bee for $15, one small circular frog for $5, one jumbo turtle for $45, a mini pickle for 12, one leggy froggy for 10, one small nugget for eight, one pink and green turtle for 30, one leggy froggy, five flower coasters for 1750, and one mini chicken nugget for eight. So I rewatched that clip of me reading off everything that I sold and the prices and I realized as a viewer myself, I would not find that extremely helpful. Like I would find it helpful because I definitely like knowing the price of each item and kind of like the quantity sold, but I imagine you guys probably want a summary. So let me summarize it for you. Mini penguins, I sold one. Mini octopi, I sold four. Mini Triceratops, I sold four. Mushrooms, I sold two. Mini Pickles, I sold two. Regular Turtles, I sold two. Leggy Froggies, I sold five. Chubby Dinos, I sold two. Possum, I sold one. Flower Coasters, I sold seven. Big Pickle, I sold one. A regular size B, I sold one. Wait, that does not make sense. I think there's some transactions missing because the math is just not adding up. Like I only have two regular size Bs left. I made a total of four, yet we only documented one. It's okay, there might be some discrepancies. Don't come after me in the comments. Like this is all that I have to document what sold and what didn't, so I apologize. Two regular size Bs sold. Mini chicken nuggets, two sold. Mini turtles, two sold. One circular frog, one sold. 
And then lastly, jumbo turtles, one sold. I hope you found that summary a little more helpful. If you have any other questions regarding what items sold and their prices, literally just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. So based off these analytics, I think it is safe to say that the mini octopi, the mini triceratops, and the leggy froggies were my top three best sellers. I think my worst sellers would have to be Callie's about to bark. I think my worst, I think my worst sellers were my two strawberry turtles, the two big octopi, and my pink penguin. It really surprises me that I'm saying this. Like I would have never guessed that. My online sales is like flip-flopped. Like none of my mini things sell on my Etsy, only my big ticket items. So it is really weird to me that I'm saying my worst seller is my strawberry turtles, but take it all with a grain of salt. Maybe it was just the turnout that day, but another day the strawberry turtles would sell. I guess part of the fun with doing markets is the unknown. You have no idea what kind of crowd you're gonna get. You have no idea what people wanna buy, what will take, what won't. But I think consistently through other market videos I've watched are pretty safe and I feel like you are bound to sell one of those, so. Definitely something to keep in mind for the next market, but I hope this helped a little better than what I originally filmed. So there you have it. That is everything that I sold. I really wanted to get some footage of me selling at the market and everything, but honestly, it was just so crazy and hectic. I did not film at all. So I'm sorry about that. I also totally forgot to take like, well, I took a before picture of my market setup, but I forgot to take the after because I love seeing those before and after pictures when other people post it. So I was like, dang, I forgot the after. Oh, well, I'll do it next time. But yeah, all together, I made around $400 and that is just a ballpark um my husband did compute all of the numbers yesterday but i forget but i do know it was around 400 dollars. so overall i call that a win in my book like i know it's not a thousand two thousand dollars like everybody else but for a four hour market that was indoors with crappy weather in a small town i'll call that a win and honestly, the experience is what really matters. Like I was so nervous to do my first market. I was nervous, but excited. And I just honestly love the people aspect of the market. I got to interact with so many people. I got to talk with so many people. And it's just really cool because when you sell online, you don't get to see people's reactions when you know they buy something from you or when they receive their package. And like, I just love that. I love seeing people light up when they approach my table. I love watching them like hold the plushies and like, show their kids and their kids like hold them and like love them and it's just so cute i think going forward i would do a market again but i think my most successful selling avenue is online through etsy so i think if i do another market it'll just be for the experience again and I wouldn't go into it thinking I'm gonna make so much money. So that's just like keeping my expectations in check. Maybe I can research and find like an all day market or a two day market, and then I would be able to, you know, do better. But I think I'm really comfortable just selling online and using that as my primary source of income for my crochet business. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. My biggest tips are to definitely have a lot of mini items, to definitely price yourself correctly. Don't undercut yourself like I did and to just have fun. Like it is a super fun experience if you've never done a market before. You get a lot of instant gratification when talking to people and seeing people love your products. And it was a lot of work, but I think it was definitely worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think my next video, I wanna dive into some Etsy tips and tricks. So be on the lookout for that. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and wanna see more crochet content. But I hope everyone has a great day and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.